Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And, you know, we got some hot topics today. Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, first, we have Jussie Smollett, inmate 572-80-3263. That's about to be his new name, because them white people about to lock his black ass up. Um, We're going to talk about YBN Almighty J. <laughs> these niggas with these names. Um, we're going to talk about Oprah. <laughs> Everybody, man. Hey, hey. Oprah getting to the money. Hey, everybody, man. Monique tried to tell y'all motherfuckers, and I tried to tell y'all too, but you didn't want to listen. Um, we're going to talk about Coach Stormy. We're going to talk about, um... R. Kelly got his black ass out of baby. R. Kelly said, you can't keep a good man down. <laughs> R. Kelly got his ass out of jail again. Um, we talking about Whoopi Goldberg. Okay, Jussie Smollett, inmate 572-80-3263. Um, they say he was indicted on 16 felony accounts. Accounts. Felony counts. Um, listen. I read that you know, if he's convicted of all 16, he could face up to, I think, 48 years in prison. Girl, first of all, I don't know how he got 16 counts. Some of y'all explain this to me because I don't get it. I don't understand it. Um, I thought it was just one for lying. I guess I'm off. Somebody said that it's 16 counts because when you add the letters an African American plus the one lie he told, that comes out to be 16 counts. That's what somebody said on the internet. I'm just telling y'all what they said. Um, so yeah, um, look. I'm back and forth with Jesse. I'm not gonna lie. You know, sometimes I'm like, girl... Some shit not adding up. I'm not, I, I'm not going to sit here and try to, you know, be too stupid. You know, shit don't add up just a girl. Girl, I, girl, some shit not add up. But for some reason, I don't know why I still want to believe. I feel like the same people who I hear talking about R. Kelly didn't do with them girls was fast. I feel like that with Jesse Smollett. Like, but see, y'all, girl, y'all know for a fact R. Kelly out there stealing young pussy. We don't know for a fact, 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 fact. Or do we know for a fact? Or am I just trying to be naive and dumb? I don't know. Either either way it goes, Justice Smollett, baby, it sounds like you about to go to prison. I don't know for how long. Girl. Girl. You are cute. You are petite. And you are the closest thing to a white woman in that prison, probably. You know, you know, niggas love white bitches. So, girl, I just want you to be careful. Girl, I just feel like, girl, I just feel like everybody ain't cut out for prison. You know, some people cut out for prison, as dumb as that may sound. Some people can handle prison. I couldn't handle prison, okay? Jesse, you give me like you can't handle prison either. Um, it sounds like you about to be Bubba's uh, wife. Um, so, I just want to, girl, I hope you get out of this. Um... I really don't care about Jussie lying. I feel like, yes, if he did tell a lie, yes, I feel like Jussie. Girl, you might need to go to a Yama, Dr. Phil, and Dr. Oz because for you to sit in your room and conjure up some shit like this, like, girl, because somebody called you a faggot? Girl, they've been calling us faggots since middle school. That should not hurt your feelings. But I guess everything, you know, everybody deal with different shit different ways. Um... Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all think Jesse going to jail? I think he going to jail. I think he going to jail. I don't know how long he's going to jail. I think it might be for a year. It might be for six months. Honestly, I feel as though he shouldn't have to go to jail. Um, I feel as though, if anything, he should probably pay back the money that, um, you know, y'all having a fit talking about he lied, he lied, he lied. Girl, but the same people who talking about he lied are the same motherfuckers who still defend Donald Trump and his lies. The same people talking about Jesse Smollett waste, wasting taxpayer dollars are the same people who ain't got no problem with Donald Trump wasting taxpayer dollars. So I just feel as though if he is found guilty, then maybe they just say, how about you just pay back the money that we had to spend on this investigation or whatever. And, you know, you do some community service and that's about it. I really think that's pretty much it. But anyways, um, next up is YBN Almighty J. Yo, that's Almighty J. Oh, Almighty J. Yeah, 
under the control. Shut the fuck up. Fuck up, nigga. Mm, nigga. Run, nigga, what's up? That's the YBN, nigga? Take his chin. Take his chin. Take his chin. That's the YBN, nigga? That's the YBN. I'm not laughing at the fight. I'm laughing at the white man walking by, minding his motherfucking business. Okay, that man said that, ain't, that white man said that ain't got nothing to do with me. Do you hear me? Um, why be in Almighty J? Is that the guy who used to date Black China when she got into it? When she got into that fight at that uh, park and she started throwing that stroll everywhere. <laughs> When she started throwing that stroller everywhere because them people, because them teenage, them teenagers touched um, Dream. <laughs> I think that's him. Anyways, listen. Supposedly, I guess his crew got into it with somebody else's crew earlier that day. Then later that night, he must have got robbed. Look, this is too much. This is too much. I don't really care about what these kids got going on, but I'm gonna try to post a picture so y'all can see how bad he looked. That. I did not think that he got his... That boy's whole face was busted open. What the fuck? Okay, let me say something. I think it's whack as fuck for people to jump people. Don't get it twisted. I understand we don't all probably... Well, not me. I'm not no fighter. Don't get it twisted. I know people who have jumped people before. But, like, when you start getting... When it start looking like seven, eight people on one... Like, are you fucking serious? Like, that's some of the wackest shit... Ever. How you walking around here talking about you big and you bad, but it take eight of y'all to beat one nigga? What the fuck? Girl, let me tell y'all something real fast. I just don't never want to be famous. I really, 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 really don't. I remember one time I got robbed, y'all, and some of the old hoes know about the story already. But for the new ones, I got robbed one time a long time ago. And I'm not going to go through the whole story, but I called my mama and them, baby, I'm telling y'all. Baby, when I told my mama I got robbed, baby, my mama, my aunt who passed away due to breast cancer, my uncle-in-law who ain't shit, I don't still don't like him to this day, um, my sister, and my cousin was on the way up here. Now, I don't know what they was going to do in big old Houston, Texas, but all my mama knew was that somebody had pulled a gun out on me, and they was about to come up here. I don't know what was about to happen. Baby, because if they would have found that boy, somebody was going to be dead and somebody was going to be in jail. <laughs> That's why I get over here talking all that shit because I know ain't nobody going to bother me because all I got to do is make one phone call. One phone call. Grandmama. Grandmama. Grandma, nanny. I was walking down the street today and this nigga walked up to me talking to me stupid. What's his name, baby? I don't know. I know how he looked, though. And girl, it's going to be about five calls on that way to Houston, Texas. Do you hear me? Girl, down. <laughs> Girl, my mom and them was on their way up here. The only reason why they didn't come was because they got into a wreck. Um, my uncle was driving, got into a wreck, car started spinning, they landed in a ditch. Girl, it was a big mess. But girl, they was on their way up here. Um, I just want to tell that story for, for everybody out there. So just in case I do blow up, y'all want to start some fuck shit with me, please believe I got a team behind me. Please believe. <laughs> There's people right now sitting on this ground just in case somebody knock on my door. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyways, um, what else? Um, yeah, but I hope the little boy's fine. I hope he's okay. Um, that's just too much. I remember when I was, I think the boy's 19. Like, bitch, when I was 19, bitch, we was in a club. Bitch, you know, doing the bunny hopping shit, okay? Waiting for our refund checks from school. Like, y'all hoes out here fighting and getting y'all faces busted wide open. What the fuck? Um, who else next? Oprah. Okay, so I just started watching the Leaving Neverland documentary. I'm on the first hour. Girl, I'm gonna just be honest with y'all. That's one of the most boring documentaries I've ever seen in my life. It ain't nothing compared to the R. Kelly documentary. But I said I'm gonna watch it. So I'm on the first hour. I still got three more hours to go. Some of y'all are gonna like what I got to say whenever I finish do watching it. Um, let me show this picture of Oprah.
Girl, y'all mad at Oprah. <laughs> Girl, y'all done gave Oprah white face. I said Oprah ain't nothing but a white woman. But low key, let me tell you something. I like Oprah. I follow Oprah on Instagram. Um, I've always, you know, loved Oprah. But like I always say, just because you love somebody, don't mean they ain't got no trifling ass ways. I'm sure it's a couple of people out there who will tell you, Rodney got some bitchy ways. I'd be the first one to say I got some bitchy ways. But for the most part, I know that I'm a good person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know Oprah, but from what I understand, from what I understand, she's a good person. But just because you a good person don't mean you ain't did nothing trifling to nobody. What I'm trying to get to is when Monique tried to tell y'all hoes. <laughs> when Monique tried to tell y'all. When Monique tried to tell y'all. When Monique tried to tell y'all what was going on in Hollywood, y'all told her she was a fucking lie. All y'all wanted to do was concentrate on the fact that she wanted to boycott Netflix and you don't want you didn't want to really hear nothing that she was saying. But all of a sudden, when Dame Dash let y'all know that D that Lee Daniels got some bitch ass ways, now it's oh my god, Monique was telling the truth. When Monique tried to tell y'all that Oprah Integrity is questionable. Well, she tried to tell y'all I had a conversation with Oprah on the phone and told her not to include my mother and my father in that fuck shit she was about to have on TV. She said, okay, she was only going to bring my brother. Then I turned on the television and guess who was on the Oprah show? And Oprah tried to act like she didn't know they was coming. Y'all really think Oprah didn't know who was going to be the guest on the Oprah show? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Monique tried to tell y'all that, and y'all told her she was a motherfucking lie. I tried to tell y'all Monique ain't lying. Who the fuck wakes up out of their bed and wants to pick a fight with Oprah Winfrey? Who? Who? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that don't even make no sense. Especially when that's the, when, especially when that's the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the, you work in the entertainment like that. You, you work with these people. Who the fuck? That's like you waking up just, just I'ma saw some shit at my job. No, people just don't do that. People, especially jobs where you just like, girl, once you got it, you got it. When you don't, you don't. Like you just can't put an application in to say, oh, I wanna, I wanna work with Tyler Perry. I wanna work with Lee Daniels. Anyway, so y'all mad at Oprah? Um, now everybody wanna boycott Oprah because you know she did what she did with the Michael Jackson. Um, documentary you know like i say everybody don't wake up at the same time that's fine i get it i understand it um but like i, I still like oprah but i'm glad that y'all are starting to finally realize that you can be a good decent help the world feed the homeless but that doesn't mean that just because you fed, feed the homeless every thanksgiving every christmas that don't mean that everybody who's come across who's ran into you has good experiences with you. There are some people out there that might say, you are a bitch. When I met her, she treated me like a bitch. She had a fucking attitude. She did this, or he was a fucking asshole. He was a fucking bitch. But then you might have 99 other people that might be like, oh my God, he was so nice. She was so nice. She was a world. She treated me so good. She let me borrow some, she let me borrow some money. She gave me a ride to work. And then the other bitch might be like, well, that bitch passed me up on the street. <laughs> Sure did, sure did, cause I don't fuck with you. And yes, I saw it was bitch. It was her Hurricane Harvey outside. I saw you walking, and I stopped, slowed down, let my window down, look at you, let it back up, and went on by my business. Cause bitch, I don't fuck with you, and you don't fuck with me. Okay, evil. Anyway, bitch, I'm. God wouldn't do that to nobody. Would I do that to somebody? Maybe I would. It depends on if I fuck with you or not. You know what I'm saying? Um, who else? Coach Stormy. But today is National Women's Day. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I just want to give a shout out to all my real women out there. The real women. Not the fake women that act like women, think they're women, and they think they're doing big things in the world. I'm talking about not the not the other women. I'm not not no disrespect. I love every sexuality and every sexual preference and all of that. But I'm saying to the real women who have cycles every month. I'm saying happy International Women's Day. To the real women out there who have kids, I'm saying happy International Women's Day. To the real women who deal with emotional issues, 
who deal with hormonal issues. I'm saying happy International Women's Day. To the women out there who don't even know if they'll Just ever find all love. The crazy people. To the women out there that will never know if they will find love, this is to you. For those women out there that every 30 days, every 30 days, they get a cycle and have to deal with hormonal issues. Some women out there. Hi, my name is Coach Stormy, best-selling author of The Nine Laws of Success, also millionaire coach all around the world, all across the country. I truly believe that when you discover your purpose, that is truly when you discover your foundation. All things in life in terms of becoming successful, living a life that you truly desire, all leads back to you knowing why. Why are you doing what you're doing, which also is called your purpose. You know, God created each and every one of us to grow, to, to serve, to help other people live life based upon their full potential. And so by by you discovering your purpose, I believe that that really puts you in a place of having access to this entire world. You know, many people say that, you know, the day that you were born is important to you. But I also believe that the day that you discover why you were born is most important. Finding exactly what it is that you want to do that makes you feel ex- excited about life, that lights you up every day. I believe that that is your purpose. And for me, being impactful, being inspirational, uh, showing other people to, to live life beyond their current situation is what makes me get excited. Girl, Listen, I don't know who she is. Coach Stormy uh, is her name. I think her name is Stormy Wellington. Um, I think she's pretty successful. Um, I think she's an author. Um, I don't really know a lot about her background. I think she's an author. Um, I think she does those like women empowerment seminars. I think Funk It Ineva um, uh, is a part of the whole and women's empowerment and I think he you know talks at those seminars I, I believe so um because I remember one day I was matter of fact I think so I think that's the one because one day I was watching one of his videos and he played a clip at the beginning of one of his videos um but anyways I just okay listen I will be the first I will be the first one to say that I don't understand all things trans um you know I don't want to put no titties on my chest I'm not cutting my dick off or, you know, split my dick in half and trying to make it into a vagina. I'm not doing none of that. That's, that's not, that's, that's, no. But just because, and I, do I completely understand how you could say, oh, I, I, I was born a woman? No, I don't. But at the end of the day, like, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be disrespectful towards you. Like, if you tell me you are a man and you feel as, I mean, you are a man and you feel like you are a woman, then girl, you a woman, okay? If you told me your name was Roderick, but you want to be called Miss Tiffany from here on out, then bitch, I'm calling you Miss Tiffany, okay? If you want me to refer to you as a girl, he, sh- I mean, not girl, he, a girl, woman, she, whatever pronoun, I'm, I will refer to you as that. I don't, that don't, that don't bother me. But what does bother me is when I see people like Coach Stormy, who it really, it's kind of crazy to me, crazy to me because it's like you're this businesswoman, and I would assume that because you're in the business of making money and selling books to people that you wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want to make a group of people who are probably your fans, not your fans. You see what I'm saying? It's kind of like when the whole Chick Fil A thing happened. And it's like, who, did, who didn't know that Chick-fil-A probably didn't fuck with gay people? I mean, bitch, y'all close on Sundays. You see what I'm saying? So I'm sure that y'all are very, the, the background, the people who started Chick-fil-A were very, very religious. You're closed on Sundays for a reason. So when, that, when the president came out and started talking about gay this and gay this and gay that, I was like, what does it have to do with anything? Like, what do your personal views have to do with Chick-fil-A as a whole? Does that make sense what I'm saying? Like, bitch, you just there, just there, there to sell chicken. Even if you don't agree with the gay this and gay that and gay this, like, why do you, why do you feel the need to stamp that on Chick-fil-A? So I feel as though this is her own business. Why do you feel the need to just basically turn off a group of people who could potentially are 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 your fans or you know support you buy your books come to your seminars so when she says things like oh you um 
Shout out to the I love every sexual girl. I said, girl, what is she talking? Sexual girl, what? <laughs> girl. Oh, girl. But then she goes into like, you know, she wants to be an inspiration to people. Girl, what? Okay, girl. This is this is why I be saying like, y'all gotta listen. Okay. Then she says, if you have a cycle, shout out to the women who have cycles every month. What if you don't have a cycle every? There are women out there. There are women out there who were born biological, biologically women, and they don't have periods. There are women who were born biological women who can't get pregnant, who don't have kids. So are they not women because they can't have kids, or because they don't have periods, or because they don't have emotional issues? Um, they don't have a period every thirty days. What about the women who stop having periods? I know a girl right now who, because of birth control, she does she has she doesn't have periods. So does that make her not a woman? Like, I just feel as though it's weird to me when people come up with this reason. Cause to me, that honestly, from what I got from that video, that was nothing but a bash trans woman video. Like, I just feel like it's weird when people come up with these reasons of why you're not a woman. Maybe if you said something because biologically X, Y, and Z, A, B, C, D, E, F, yeah. Okay, whatever. But even with that being said, why do you feel, why do people feel like, okay, even if you say, I don't believe that trans women are women because of X, Y, and Z. Why do you feel the need to be disrespectful about it? You see what I'm saying? Like you can believe in something and not be disrespectful be disrespectful towards people. I don't believe that you're a woman because X, Y, and Z, but girl, if you want me to call you Tiffany, I'll call you Tiffany. If you want me to call you Robert, I'll call you Robert if you're a trans man. If you want me to refer to you as she, I'll refer to you as she. But because of science or because of whatever I believe in, this is why I, this is why I don't think that you're a woman. Do that make sense what I'm saying? I don't know. It's just weird to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, I just wanted to touch on that because I think it's weird when people come up with these reasons of why trans women are not women or why trans men are not men. And just like, okay, your reasons don't make sense to me. You don't have a cycle. You don't have kids. <laughs> you don't have emotional issues. So shout out to the bitches who stable because... You know, if you don't have emotional issues, according to Coach Stormy, you ain't no woman. According to Coach Stormy, if you don't have a period every 30 days, you're not a woman. According to Coach Stormy, if you don't have kids, you're not a woman. So, anyways, so what else? Whoopi Goldberg. Baby, Whoopi Goldberg almost died, honey. She came on The View the other day and said that, um, you know, she got very, very close to leaving this earth. You know, one of my friends tried to check me the other day because he loved Whoopi Goldberg. And I told y'all, I really, Whoopi Goldberg could honestly leave The View. Now, bitch, when I said that I didn't care for you being on The View, bitch, I didn't mean I wanted you to die, <laughs> okay? Girl, I don't want you. Matter of fact, I, I think I changed my mind. I think I do like Whoopi Goldberg on The View. I think I do like Whoopi Goldberg on The View. I like Whoopi, but I just never liked her on The View. Because even though Megan gets on my fucking nerve, why the fuck was that? Why the fuck was she crying the other day? When she when they was talking about um something about the woman who made the comments. The, why are you crying, Megan? Girl, shut up. Anyways, that's why, that's what shit like that, that's why I need Whoopi on the show. Um, but yeah, shout out to Whoopi. Girl, I hope you get better. Girl, you are too young to be, I think Whoopi is only in her 60s. That's very, very young. You know, when you 18, you think 60 old as fuck, but 60 is really young to me. Um, but hopefully she gets better. She says she's better. I knew something was up because Whoopi had, I don't think Whoopi has ever been gone this long. And then when the rumors started, I started seeing online that she almost died. So I think she had to come out and say, hey, y'all, yes, I did almost die. It got really, really bad. But now I'm okay. Um, R. Kelly. <laughs> R. Kelly got out of jail. That's all I got to say. When I tell y'all, baby, R. Kelly said y'all cannot hold a good man down, honey. R. Kelly finally got out of jail. They paid, he paid, who somebody paid his child support. I mean... Y'all bitches love y'all some R. Kelly. I 
cannot listen to R. Kelly's music. I'm sorry. I can't. Like, one of my favorite songs is The Greatest Sex. The Greatest Sex is one of my favorite songs off TP2. And another one of my favorite songs is Touching with Nivea. But there's no way I can listen to The Greatest Sex because, like, I really think you're talking about fucking Aaliyah. Like, I don't know. It's weird. Like, I cannot listen to these songs. And I'm trying to, you know, smash my man. And really and truly, like, girl, I thought you was talking about smashing a big booty bitch named Keisha. And you really talking about smashing little Ashley, who's 13, who live up the street. Like, no, I cannot listen to it. Mm-mm, no. Nope. Turn that shit off. I'm in here trying to fuck, and now all of a sudden, images of, of thoughts of you having sex with a 13-year-old come in my mind. Like, no, we're not doing that. So, I can't listen to R. Kelly. Shout out to the bitches who, who still listen to R. Kelly. I don't know how you do it, um, but I can't. Um, but he got out of jail the other day, you know. He paid that money. So, shout out to Andre, uh, 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 Drea Kelly, and shout out to the kids. Somebody did say in the comment section that one of his kids was trans. Um, but anyways, that's all I got for Hot Topics. I'm tired. I'm about to go take a shower, do something to this head of mine, honey. And I'm about to go out and have a couple of drinks. And that's it. Ooh, now I gotta make another video. Fuck, I just remember. Okay, after this last video, I'm going out and I'm going to have drinks. Bye, y'all.